they engage in, you know, probably the largest a single gang shooting in Ontario with over 140 rounds. Uh, broad daylight. Police have laid charges in what they say is one of the worst shootings in the history of Peel Region, and that is being connected to another brazen homicide one month later. Two killed in two separate shootings back in 2019, including an innocent 17 year old boy here in Malton. Part of that mass shooting captured on camera. We do want to warn viewers today that that footage released by police today is graphic. A hail of non-stop gunfire sends many fleeing from the parking lot of this Darcel Avenue complex on the evening of September 14th, 2019. Three other victims who were in the group congregating at the rear of the building were also struck by gunfire. Three others were also hit, one fatally, Jonathan Davis, an innocent bystander. A 13-year-old Syrian refugee and an adult woman were also pierced by bullets in separate apartments. This shooting caused life-altering injuries to one of the victims and also resulted in the tragic death of a 17 year old who had his entire life ahead of him and was stolen from his family. Safir Ahmed, a 19 year old from Mississauga was arrested and charged with conspiracy to commit murder. Javon Valdez, 21 years old of Brampton, turned himself in and is also facing the same charge along with unauthorized possession of a firearm. Police say more charges are coming as they are still searching for nine more people who were involved. Newly released footage today show the suspect vehicles driving towards the crime scene. A Hyundai Santa Fe, which was later recovered that night, lit on fire and a Nissan Sentra. Police say this same vehicle and the same GTA gang are allegedly responsible. They've now been connected to a second homicide in October, where a car waiting on the off-ramp in the area of Highway 410 and Dairy Road East in Mississauga was attacked by another vehicle. Pulled alongside the passenger side of the Chevrolet Cruze and two sh shooters opened fire on the vehicle. 28-year-old Giovanni Delahaye, who was the target, died. Three others in that car were also seriously injured. The Darcel shooting and the shooting at the 410 in Derry was targeting the same group. The Nissan Sentra was later located in Calden, engulfed in flames. Investigators are searching for two to three suspects for that murder. Police say there's a history of disputes between two gangs, which was the catalyst for the shootings. These two shootings that have resulted in two homicides and eight other people injured by gunfire is the result of gun and gang crime. What we're talking about is a small number of high-risk individuals who have open access to firearms involved in repeated criminal activity that are in repeated disputes with others also in a, in a similar nature. Both suspects did make a court appearance at a Brampton court on Monday. Police say this investigation remains ongoing. They're asking anyone who has information to contact them or anonymously contact Crime Stoppers. In Malton, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.